All right, welcome back to the channel. Listen, 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 listen. Thank you for your support. We are so close to hitting 5K subs, man. I'm grateful. I understand the content that's banging, so let me just be transparent. If this video doesn't get the type of likes and the watch time and so forth, then I get it. I totally get it. I knew I have a, a few different categories that I'm into, and so I don't wanna force content on people that don't wanna watch content. So we are going to be talking about this arcade cabinet today. Uh, let me turn this down. So I actually got my Vulix clone here from um, Rec Room Masters. Um, and I'm getting ready to play some Dragon Ball Fighters to end my night. I just came from work and uh, my son is home from college. I had two sons home from college. I got three sons home from college, but one from Orlando, one from Tampa. Just took my other baby back to Orlando. Um, and I got my eldest here and we play fighters pretty much every night. We, we get it in right now. I'm on the decline. I'm not winning so much, but I enjoy it, man. All right. So big blue, big blue, man. This is big blue right here. Changed my room around a little bit. And so uh, I'm ready to start doing some things with this. So I wanted to make this video. This is going to be part one of how many parts I don't know, but this is part one. And so um, in today's video, I'm gonna talk to you guys about the different things I wanna do. This is gonna be really a one shot video, right? I might have some transitions, but so let me just talk to you guys. The first thing that I didn't like, if you can come around here to the side, um, I got two different sticks that are not really the same. This is very loose. Um, we're going to change all this though. So I ordered some buttons. Okay. Suzu hat. Bag in a bag in a bag, man. All right. All right. Good deal on these. Not looking for perfection, just want something better than what I had. So, got new sticks. And I got new buttons. Right? So, yeah. So, this is going to be the first thing that we're doing. We're not going to do this within the video. But in the next video that I do post, this is the stuff that should be done. Um, this entire control board, I'm going to be taking up. Like, completely. So this right here doesn't have, it's not tight. I think it could be just the washers missing, but I don't know. I want to get new bolts, new screws, uh, but I want to take this entire board off, right? Like I want to take this off completely and just get this thing cleaned out and come from over here. You can just take a look at all these wires. Um, I want to clean this up a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I do want to make it look real nice and neat uh, for me. OK, so that's what I'm going to be doing, right? This guy right here, this piece, like I'm not going to pull this Capcom sticker off, but I'm probably going to try to create me something similar with this, like I have with this arcade one up. This obviously comes with the arcade one up. This is the only arcade one up I bought and the only one I ever will buy unless I find one dirt cheap like I found this one. Um, I'm either going to try to do this side because this Capcom sticker is here or I'm just going to go on this side. Um, I don't want to really replicate what one game is. I just want to kind of create my own. So I might even just make it more personalized. Right. But this is kind of the the bezel or the border that will go around the bezel of the monitor. So this I'm going to be getting some stuff done, too. It's going to be exciting to show you guys what that is. Um, this whole piece right here. So with me doing the sticks, I've already taken the screws off. So at first I said I was going to cut a new plexi. I'm not. I'm going to deep clean this one and see what it looks like. This that's under here. I'm going to pull all this nastiness, nastiness up and I'm going to try to sand it down and get all this adhesive off of it. Once I do that again, I, I don't have any skills with this. I'm just kind of going off of my mind. I'm going to try to like sand it down, clean it up, and I'm going to try to get my own um, image, you know, graphics here 
This is just kind of like an infinite Capcom. And so I'm going to try to do something similar to that too. I'm not worried about having the directions for the stick. I'm not worried about having the, um, you know, the wording for the buttons either. I just want something more consistent to pop for that. So that's something I'm, I'm going to be doing also. Along with this, I've already been peeling away at this guy right here. So I'm going to get all of this off of here and get all of this cleaned up when I take the board off. Yeah, we're going to be doing that too. Um, another thing I'm going to be doing, because these speaker grills have like some rust on them, a little bit on this one and there's some on here. Um, I need to get the necessary tools so that I can go on the inside and actually take these bolts off to get this off, to get this cleaned. I just want to get this thing really nice and clean. Now, let me tell you guys, I was going to do a PC inside of here, completely not doing that. The same good friend of mine, Sheldon, that sold me this at a good price, he is selling me a full, complete Capcom versus SNK2 Naomi system with CVS2 also. Man, I'm telling you, I'm so grateful. Like, so I'm gonna be putting a full CVS2 in this bad boy. Um, so I'm gonna start looking for the work because I wanna take all of this off and get it detailed. So I'm gonna be looking for the artwork for right here, an official one for CVS2. If I can't find anything official, I'm gonna make my own shit. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's what I got going on so far. Obviously like the insides too, I'm gonna be cleaning the hell out of this. Got a lot of dirt, dust. So getting to the back of this thing and I'm gonna clean it the hell up, man. But I'm gonna put this out here as a tester just to see how many people wanna watch some other stuff. This is all about TKK, man. I do a lot of technology TVs, obviously. One of the biggest, most expensive things I do on the channel. But I do some arcade stick reviews too. Speaking of which, I gotta get you guys a review of my Vulix. This got some crazy mods. We got that beauty, that's actually for this. And then we also do have, we have the yin and yang, right? We got the two mass sticks. We're gonna do a video talking about those two. Um, and then I did recently pick up stick I have been wanting forever, right? This guy right here. This stick is the reason I bought this stick, which I'll card in the review I did three years ago. Same exact casing, but because this stick wasn't able to be found around before the COVID pandemic, I settled for that one, but I finally got my hands on the one that I always wanted. So. Leave some comments. If you're into the arcade stuff, let me know what's going on. My room is a freaking mess right now, which is cool. Um, I got a lot of different areas in the house that I do game in, but appreciate you guys, man. If you consider supporting me, we're almost at 5,000 subs, man. It's, it's a great, great feeling just being able to communicate with you guys. Uh, we got more TV content coming. Today is Tuesday. I'm going to render this thing up. It might go up tonight or it might go up in the morning. You might be seeing this Wednesday morning. I'm about to get some games in with my son. I'm going to try to beat his ass tonight. And I'm going to get you guys on the next one. Max Love.